Hi everyone, how are you? Thanks for watching my videos. Today I would like to show you how you can move a game object using arrow keys. So for that reason, first I will create a plane and reset the plane and then I will move it a little bit further than me and then click here and just rescale it a little bit yes and then uh, we will create the cube again we will reset the cube and uh, click here and then change the position okay we move it a little bit to the middle of the plane uh, the next thing we need to do before we continue in order to see the edges of the cube we will just give a material to our plane so it, they will not be the same color we will make it a um, color we will name it we will put red color and then we will attach this color into our plane our plane is uh, red and we can see the edges of the cube. The next thing we need to do is to create a C-sharp script. We will name it move. Uh, here we are going to write our function, uh, our codes inside the op update uh, function. We don't need the start function here. So for that reason, we will write transform that position. Uh, no, sorry, first we need to write the if. We will write if uh, input dot get key. We need to get the key that we uh, that the user, the player, play uh, pressed key code dot arrow uh, okay now we have four different arrow keys um, let's say we want to press the right arrow open these brackets and here we are going to write uh, the uh, like uh, codes for like displacement of the object so we will write transform that position plus um, equal it means that we sorry it's transform that position transform that position sorry uh, equal um, um, plus equal it means that we want the previous uh, or the current transform position to be equal to the new transform position plus um, we need to add vector tree uh, right because you are in a 3d environment uh, multiply delta sorry time dot delta time uh, I think our codes are correct and now we can go back to unity and uh, then uh, if we play now it will not work because we haven't yet attached our script to our queue but if we press this and uh, just put the like right arrow key it will not move uh, and uh, if we attach this move to cube and press on cube we can see the move script is attached here and we can press play and if we move we can see the cube moves in the right direction but it goes out of the screen and we can't see it anymore uh, we will stop in order to our camera to follow uh, the uh, cube there are many ways uh, we can like attach the camera to our cube uh, but uh, the another thing uh, we can do is to give the move uh, to a camera also but I think it's better to remove the move of a script from the cube drag the cube to camera and then uh, press on camera and then drag the move uh, here 
it as the function uh, we will save our scene it's saved as scene one you can like save as anywhere you want we will press the okay now we will uh, like uh, move uh, the objects you can see that uh, when we move the object it moves with the the camera moves with the objects too and then okay now we will stop it uh, uh, the next thing uh, we can uh, do uh, is to go here and like right uh, the like uh, left arrow uh, we can like say if input that get key get key yeah get key key code Mm. left arrow you can use for example uh, up arrow uh, but we will use left, left arrow we will close it we will open the bracket and then here we can write transform dot position mm, is equal vector 3 dot left multiply time dot delta time uh, we can come back to unity we can save again and then we will press play yes it moves to the left direction it can move to the right direction also uh, it uh, looks a little bit slow if you want you can also multiply to a number like for example 5 um, if uh, you can just use it for the right arrow, arrow so you can feel the difference you will press play let's see if it works yes it works faster to the right direction because it's uh, we gave it a like number as a speed to move but the left direction doesn't have this number so it is slower it's with the default yeah hope uh, you understood how to use input uh, arrow keys in order to move your objects and maybe the camera with it thanks for listening bye